What is a webhook and how does it relate to IT automation? A webhook is a method used by an application to provide other applications with real-time information. It's a form of event-driven communication, where a trigger event in one application sends data to another specified URL, effectively hooking it into the event and responding accordingly. So how is a webhook relevant to IT infrastructure automation? Well, webhooks are commonly used for GitOps and event-driven automation. GitOps uses Git repositories as a single source of truth to deliver infrastructure as code. I'll use an Ansible example. When an engineer makes a change to a Git repository, this sends a webhook to automation controller, which then starts an automation job. This job can sync your IT infrastructure to your source of truth and make sure all your configurations are correct. Configuring webhooks are trivial for Ansible Automation Platform. Simply choose any job template, click edit, then click the checkbox for enable webhook. There will be an option for GitHub or GitLab. Take note of the generated webhook URL and key. For this example with GitHub, I can configure a webhook under the settings menu. Click webhooks on the left-hand menu, then click add webhook. You can copy the generated webhook URL to the payload URL and the webhook key to the secret field, and then you're done. So what about event-driven automation? Event-driven automation is the process of responding automatically to changing conditions in an IT environment, or what we call events. This helps resolve issues faster and reduces routine repetitive tasks. With Ansible, we have the aptly named Event-Driven Ansible, or what we call EDA. EDA relies on source plugins to communicate events. Event source plugins allow rulebooks to receive events from things like cloud services, applications, and brokers. One of these source plugins can actually be a generic webhook. Let's look at an example Ansible rulebook. This simple rulebook is looking for the condition event.meta.headers is defined, and then it will run the job template named storage remediation. The logic can be this simple and follows a if this then that mindset. So in summary, I think webhooks are super important, not just for developers, but infrastructure engineers, including system administrators and network engineers. Just think of webhooks as an easy way to glue two disparate systems together in an easy and codified way.